As we celebrate the International Day for the Teachers, I want to, on behalf of Ghana Education Service, extend our warmest, sincerest appreciation and gratitude to our teachers across the length and breadth of this country. Our teachers have actually proven that they would always be there for Ghana's education. Indeed, if you look at what we do at Ghana Education Service as implementers of Ghana's education policies, our teachers are playing a significant role in this enterprise. The learners across the length and breadth of this country have been receiving care, compassion, and education from these teachers in our country. Ghana's teachers indeed have always proven all over the world to be the best. And today I want to lead the entire management of Ghana Education Service to salute all teachers across the country. We don't need a single day to thank teachers for the work that, that they do. But uh, it is particularly important that on this day we appreciate the work of our teachers uh, and we appreciate the sacrifices they make uh, in building our nation. The nation Ghana has assigned a critical duty to Ghana Education Service to produce individuals with the requisite skills, knowledge, competence and the values so that they can meaningfully contribute to the national development. Management is therefore grateful to teachers for the critical role they've played in the success story of the service. The teachers uh, in Ghana and around the world um, make the world go round. They provide uh, us with all of the preparations that we need in, in order to face the challenges of the future. They do that every day in our classrooms and outside of our classrooms. This is an awesome day, a memorable day for our dear teachers of this land. You go the extra mile to turn Dow students to happy, responsible children. We teachers remember our commitment to learners. To us, teaching is not just a job, but a lifestyle. We teach to touch the future. Our commitment will forever be in the minds of our learners. I want to take this opportunity to salute and congratulate all teachers in Ghana, especially those who recognize the need to pay particular attention to learners with special educational needs and disabilities. Teacher is the agent of change, and GES is happy to celebrate all teachers on this special occasion. We pray to the Almighty God for his continuous support and protection for all our teachers. So I want to take this opportunity to congratulate teachers on the hard work they are doing out there, especially supporting our girls and their brothers as well. Teachers are equal to you all. I urge you all to continue doing what you do best so that together we can transform our country through education. Aiko. Your hard work, dedication and passion for teaching are truly appreciated. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, my teacher Aiko to all our gallant teachers for all that you do for this country. Indeed, all professions can boost, but the teacher taught them all. I wish you a happy World Teachers Day. We're live in three, two, one. What's what was announcement again? Airtel Tigo is now 80. Ah, okay. We go live in three, two, one. It's here for Airtel Tigo is now 80. It's 
that's how it goes. Ah, it's okay. Say, see, yeah, 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 no simple cry. It's now a T. Tell a neighbor to tell a neighbor that your favorite telecommunications network, LTL Tigo, is now a T. Simple. New name, same affordable and reliable internet, credit cards, secure money services, and much more. A T. Life is simple. Oh, him, uh, let me see I take your number first. Bye. you. Let me see I take your number again. Guys, now I'm tired. I'll go on a date with whoever gets here first. Princess, really? Okay. Are they come? Shut up! Mommy, for the return to my wife. Boss, fill my tank with Super XP Run 95. Fill up with Super XP Run 95 and Diesel XP High Performance Products from Goyle. <laughs> Sorry, Tony got here first, so I'm stepping with him. Oh, cut him, cut him. Hey! Go for that boy, mommy. Choose Super XP Run 95 and Diesel XP for an energizing driving experience. Always go for Goyle Super XP Run 95. Goyle, good energy. Goyle, Goyle, Goyle. Pepsodent is aware that globally, one in two children suffer from cavities. That's why by giving her Pepsodent, you're not only protecting her teeth, but also helping her grow up and thrive at every stage of her life with a healthy and confident smile so she can succeed and achieve all of her dreams. Because every smile matters. the now you are living the now you feel secure in the now but what about tomorrow what happens when you can no longer do the things you love what happens to your loved ones when you are no longer here Get Mikakrawa from Prudential Life now and protect your future and that of your loved ones. With as little as three Ghana CDs, Mikakrawa covers you in case of death, total and permanent disability, or critical illness.
You are welcome to the 2023 edition of the National Championship of the National Science and Math Quiz. This is contest number 22 at the 1-8 stage. And in this contest, we have Chemu Senior High School, Obri Yebua Senior High School, and Kumasi Secondary Technical School. Let's meet the contestants. Chemu Senior High School is represented by Jafet Fusuminta, Justice Sapon Frimpong. Chemu SHS, you've, you've, been, you've come through the prelim stage, right? How did you go? How was the prelim competitions? The prelims was quite okay and by God's grace, we're able to sail through, and we are, we are here today, and we know he would guide us through today, too. Okay, best wishes to you. <laughs> Obri Yebua Senior High School is represented by... Patrick Fafanyo Agbodeka. Sadrak Asid. Same, Obri Yebua, you've also come through the prelim stages. How did they go? So at the prelim stage, we met uh, Porter Girls and then Samuel Utu SHS. Mm. By God's grace, we were able to win them, and that has prepared us to the one if stage. Okay, what should we expect from you from this round? The best performance. Okay, best wishes to you. <laughs> our final school is Kumasi Secondary Technical School. They are our seeded school. And they are represented by Ajay Puku Ahinkra. <laughs> Nane Champo Emmanuel. <laughs> Master Sektek, tell us about your preparations for this year's championship. Well, the original didn't go quite as well, but mm. we've been preparing very hard, and we hope the Lord will see, see us through this stage, too. Okay, best wishes to you. <laughs> the National Science and Math Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with Girl PLC and supported by Joy News, AT. Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Pepsodent Toothpaste, Better Mold, Ghanaian Academic and Research Network, Coronation Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City University College, Cowbell, Bell Beverages, GTP, Newmont Ghana, Africa World Airlines, and YFM. My name is Dr. Thelma Ohine J, a senior lecturer at the School of Pharmacy. University of Ghana, Lagon, and I'm your quiz mistress. This is a prime time production. <laughs> to our schools, we have this contest in five rounds. We'll begin in round one. Here, I would ask you a series of questions that cover your knowledge in physics, mathematics, biology, and chemistry. If a question comes to your school and it involves calculations, you have 30 seconds to give an answer. If there are no calculations, you have 10 seconds. If you answer correctly, you earn three points. If the answer is incorrect, there's no mark. But then the question becomes available as a bonus question. And any of your two competitors who is ready for that bonus question can ring their bell for it. If they give a correct answer, they will earn one point. If the answer is incorrect, there's a penalty point of one. To ring, the, to ring for a bonus question, you'd have to wait for me to rule on the question or the school is bailed out, and then you can ring your bell. Okay. In this round, we'll begin with Chemu Senior High School. And once, once again, best wishes to all the schools. A preamble. Find the gradient dy dx for the given curve. Chemu, x cubed plus 3x squared y minus y cubed equals 15. Yeah. 
Yes, Jafet. A fraction with numerator x squared plus 2xy and denominator y squared minus x squared. That's correct. Aubrey Ebois, 3x squared minus 4xy plus 2y squared equals 10. So it is a fraction with a numerator 2y minus 3x and denominator 2y minus 2x. That's correct. Kumasi Sektek, 2x cube minus xy squared plus y cube equals 20. Yes, Mano. A fraction with a numerator, a fraction with a numerator of six x squared. A fraction has a numerator of six x squared minus two y and a denominator of 2xy minus 3y squared. That's not correct. Yes. A fraction with numerator y squared plus 6x squared and denominator x minus 3y squared. No. So I have 6x squared. 6x squared minus y squared on 2xy minus 3y squared, or y squared minus 6x squared on 3y squared minus 2xy. Chemu, name the digestive hormone in mammals that triggers the release of pancreatic juice from the pancreas. Yes. Secreting. That's correct. <laughs> Aubrey Ebois, name the hormone which stimulates the production of enzymes by the pancreas. The enterokinase. No. A bonus. Okay, I'll come back to the answers. Kumasi Sektek, which part of the gastrointestinal tract is responsible for the secretion of secretin hormone? The stomach. No, a bonus. Okay, it's the duodenum, the duodenum. The secretin is from the duodenum. And the hormone that stimulates production of enzymes by the pancreas is pancreosamine. A preamble. Assuming that X is a non-metal, determine the oxidation state of X in the given compound. Assume that X is a non-metal element. 
Determine the oxidation state of X in the compound I give you. Chemu. C A B A X two O five. So capital C small A, capital B small A, capital X two, capital O five. Yes, Jaffet. Plus three. That's correct. Aubrey Ebois, H2, X2, O4, all of this, superscript minus two. Yes. Plus two. That's correct. Master sec tech. K two. X three. F two. O six. Yes, Emmanuel. Plus four. That's correct. <laughs> A preamble. Find the acceleration of an object down a smooth plane, inclined at an angle theta to the horizontal, given that, again, find the acceleration of an object down a smooth plane, Inclined at an angle theta to the horizontal, given that chemu theta is 60 degrees and local gravity equals 9.78 meters per second squared. Yes, Jaffet. 4.89 root 3, all in meters per second squared. No. Aubrey Abwa, theta equals 45 degrees, and local gravity equals 9.77 meters per second squared. Seven point zero four meters per second squared. No. What, what was the acceleration local gravity I gave you? Nine point seven seven. Okay. It's incorrect. <laughs> it is incorrect. Master sec tech, theta equals 60 degrees and local gravity equals 9.79 meters per second squared. Yes. 8.48 meters per second squared. That's correct. <laughs> 
find, this is a preamble. Yes, we'll come back to it. Don't worry, let's continue. Find the cosine, this is a preamble to all the schools. Find the cosine of the angle between the vectors A and B, given, find the cosine of the angle between the vectors A and B, given chemu A equals 3i minus 4j, and B equals i plus j. Yes. Negative root 2 on 10. That's correct. Aubrey Ebois, A equals 5i plus 12j, and B equals i minus j. Yes. A fraction with numerator, negative 7 root 2, and denominator, 26. That's correct. Kumasi <laughs> Sector, why did you ring your bell? Your own question. A equals 4i minus 3j, and B equals minus 5i, minus 12j. Yes, Emmanuel. 16 on 65. That's correct. For the, the physics questions I asked, I realized um, Chemu asked me for the answers because I forgot to give it. So your answer was 8.47 meters per second squared. I'd have to check if it's equivalent to the answer you gave me. And Obri Yeboah, your answer is 6.91 meters per second squared. Okay, so we'll come back to that. A preamble. State what happens during the following stage of cellular respiration. Chemu, glycolysis. Yes, Jaffet. Okay, so in glycolysis, in glycolysis, no oxygen, is not really required for this process. So it produces two amounts of, two moles of ATP from the, from the, from the carbo food or carbohydrate taken in to form a six carbon, four carbon compound called pyruvic acid or pyruvate. Summarize what you've said. Tell me one sentence, what are you saying? What happens in glycolysis? In glycolysis, the food taken in, which is in the form of carbohydrate, is, is broken down into pyruvic acid or pyruvate, and this releases two moles of ATP. Two out of three. I'll come back to why. Aubrey Ebois, Krebs cycle. In the Krebs cycle, the pyruvate molecules that are produced during glycolysis enters the mitochondria, mitochondria matrix and, and are converted into a cis carbon compound with the release of two molecules of ATP. 
You said it, it, it's converted to what, com what compound? A six carbon compound. What, give me an example of the six carbon compound. You don't remember, it's okay, two out of three. Kumasi Sectek, the electron transport system. The electron transport system is responsible for transporting electrons in the in the cytopl cytoplasm with the help of cytochromes and it also involves the release of 34 ATP. I'll take that. So there are few there are key things I'm looking for. Chem, what you, you did mention was that glucose molecules are broken down to form pyruvic acid. These are carbohydrates. There are a lot of different kinds of carbohydrates, so I gave you partial math. And Aubrey Ebois, the pyruvic acid is broken down. The energy in the molecule is used to form high energy compounds, such as NADH, ATP, and FADH2. I don't know if any of this is a six carbon compound. That's why I was asking you to give an example so I could check. So, um, that's why I also have two um, out of three. But yes, for Kumase Sectec, energy is released, electrons are transported along a series of cytochromes. So they had all the key points there. Chemu SHS. If a gas occupies 600 dm cube at 300 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals. What volume will it occupy at 410 Kelvin and 400 kilopascal? Go ahead, go ahead. 210 decimeter cube. No. A bonus to Kumase Tech Tech. 205 decimeter cube. That's correct. <laughs> Aubrey Ebois. Aubrey Ebois. Upon heating at a pressure of 150 kilopascals. The temperature of a gas increases from 200 to 500 Kelvin, while its volume decreases from 800 to 625 dm cube. Determine the new pressure of the gas. You've been bailed out. Kumasi Sektek. 480 kilopascals. That's correct. <laughs> Kumasi Sektek. The pressure of an ideal gas at 600 Kelvin is increased from 200 kilopascals to 380 kilopascals, while its volume decreases from 1.14 meter cube to 0 0.4 meter cube. Determine the new temperature of the gas.
Yes. Three hundred and eighty Kelvin. No. Yes, Jimmy. Four hundred Kelvin. It's four hundred Kelvin. Chemu, find the primary current for a 60 milliampere secondary current in an ideal transformer with 1,000 primary turns and 250 secondary turns. Yes, justice. 240 milliampers. No. Master Tech Tech. 24 milliampers. No. Obrie Bois, an ideal transformer is wound with 5,000 primary turns and 250 secondary turns. Find the secondary voltage when the primary voltage is 40 volts. Go ahead. Four volts. That's not correct. Master sex sex. Two votes. Yes, it's two votes. <laughs> Master sex sex. An ideal transformer is wound with 4,000 primary turns and 200 secondary turns. Find the secondary current. When the primary current is 10 milliampers. Yes. 200 milliampers. That's correct. That brings us to the end of round one.
Before we go on to the scores in round two, there's a protest here. Uh, and it's from Chemu. I'm honestly not sure what they are protesting. Is it that they want, you want four marks? Chemu, what, what is, is it? I gave two out of three. Do you think you, should, you deserve the, all the three marks? I'm not sure. I'm going to decline. I mean, yeah. Technically, actually, they gave two answers. They weren't different. They were the same answer. He started answering. When I asked them to simplify, then another person said it. But it was the same thing. I said they missed out on the keyword glucose broken down to pyruvic acid. They said carbohydrate. And it could be any other carbohydrate. So that's why I gave partial mark. So, yeah, that's it. At the end of round one, the scores are Obri Eboa Senior High School, 11 points. Chemu Senior High School, 17 points. And Kumasi Sektek, 17 points. Okay, this is also because in the physics question I asked, um, Chemu said 4.89 root 3, which is equivalent to the answer that I gave. So they had an extra mark for that. <laughs> Round two is the speed race. In this round, each question that is read out, if you fidget with a bell and I'm reading a question, I even start by saying A, and you ring the bell, I'll call you. You. So round two, any question that comes is open to all the schools at the same time. At any time, if you have an answer, ring your bell. If you give the first correct answer, you have three points. Second correct answer, two points. Third correct answer, one point. So we keep on going till we get an answer or we are bailed out. At any time, if you give an incorrect answer or you ring the bell and you don't say anything, you waste our time so that I hear a bell from the table and move on to the next school. There's a penalty point of one. When you ring the bell, make sure you are ready because within three seconds, you should start giving your answer. And your answer should be prompt, just one answer. So you don't start and go back and say, um, no, negative, no. If you do that, we just move on, okay? This speed race is proudly sponsored by Pepsodent Toothpaste. Every smile matters. Our first question for the speed race. What is the molarity of a solution prepared by dissolving 3.6 grams of glucose C6H12O6 in enough water to make a volume of 60.0 cm cube. Obi Eboa. 0.33 mole per dm cube. That's correct. In an experiment, a student precipitates 1.76 grams of calcium oxalate from a sample of milk. What is the mass of calcium in the sample? Master sec take zero point five five grams. That's correct. <laughs> what mass is present in one mole of calcium methanoate? It is one, one, nine. One hundred and nineteen. No. Who else? Yes. Seventy three grams. No.
130 grams. Which two organs in humans are connected by falciform ligament? Chemu. Yes. We have the liver and the pancreas. No. It's the liver and the stomach. What is the largest reservoir of phosphorus in the phosphorus cycle? Sedimentary rocks. Name the instrument used to measure the growth in length of a plant. Is the oxanometer. Okay. Solve cos squared x equals half for x in the interval 0 less than x less than pi. We have pi on 4 radians. No. Who else rang the bell? Obria Boa. It is pi on four radians or three pi on four radians. That's correct. <laughs> A box contains six red balls and four red balls. Two balls are selected randomly without replacement. Find the probability they are of the same color. Yes, Chemu. We have eight on 15. No. Who else rang the bell? Two on nine. No. Aubrey Seven on 15. Yes, it's seven on 15. Find, find the coordinates of the image of the point A, 2,1, after a reflection in the point 2,3. Kumasi Sektek. Two, five. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Our last set of questions for this round. Find the net force on a four kilogram object whose acceleration is I plus two K. Four I plus eight K, all in Newtons. That's correct. Yeah. The decay constant of a radioactive specimen whose activity decreases from 256 megabecquerel to 8 megabecquerel in 25 seconds. The decay constant is 4.17 per second. No. Yes, yes. 0 0.14 per second. That's correct. <laughs> Our last question for this round. Find the kinetic energy of a four kilogram particle whose velocity is I minus J. Four joules. That's correct. That brings us to the end of round two.
At the end of round two, the scores are Obri Ebua Senior High School, 15 points. <laughs> Chemu Senior High School, 19 points. <laughs> Kumase Sek Tech, 24 points. <laughs> round three. This is the round of the problem of the day. In this round, a common problem will be presented to all three schools, and they will be given four minutes to provide a solution on the screen. After four minutes, a bell will go indicating that you should stop work and take your seats. When you take your seats, I'll come over to the screen, evaluate what you've done, and award marks. When I come back to my seat, I will explain the solution as has been presented by the consultant, and also lets you know the marks that have been awarded. So for now, okay. Also, at stake in this round is what we call the Prudential Life Insurance NSMQ star. And this star will be awarded to the school that earns a perfect score of 10. At this stage in the competition, if you earn a perfect score of 10, you win 2,400 cities from Prudential Life Insurance. The NSMQ Star is proudly sponsored by Prudential Life Insurance Ghana for every life, for every future. down, no writing, take your, the sheet that has been presented to you and let's read the problem of the day together. Define decomposition and describe the processes and products of decomposition. Start work.
take your seats.
So, yeah, there's a very unique um, situation with this problem of the day, and I would explain it um, in a bit. But this problem of the day was from biology. And the students were to define decomposition and describe the processes and products of decomposition. So here, the sol to the solution, decomposition can be defined as a process that involves disintegration of complex organic matter from the body of dead animals and plants with the action of decomposers into inorganic raw materials such as water, carbon dioxide, and other nutrients. There are different processes in the decomposition, and these are fragmentation. So here, the, um, there's disintegration into fine particles through the action of detritivores such as earthworms. Then there's leaching. Here, water-soluble nutrients penetrate the layer of the soil and get sealed as unavailable salts. Then catabolism. Fungi and bacteria degrade the detritus into fine particles through the action of enzymes. There's humification. Here, humus is formed. And humus is a dark-colored colloidal substance that serves as a reservoir for nutrients for plants. And then there's mineralization. Further degradation of humus through the activity of microbes, where inorganic nutrients are finally released into the soil. So any key points you give here, I'll, gi I'll give you some marks up until we get to 10. So to the solutions from this, and this is the unique problem I say we have. So from this question, all I say is define decomposition and describe the processes and products of decomposition. There's nowhere to, there's nothing to tell that I'm talking about decomposition of biological material. So the schools that went on to talk about biological material, very good, it was a good guess. Another school talked about I'm sure they assumed it was from chemistry. And fortunately for them, I cannot penalize them for that because I do not say here that I'm talking about the composition of biological material. So that's the unique problem I, I, we, we've had. So today, Obri Ebo has actually proven to us that science is more interrelated than we actually think. So good on you for that. So to the marks, um, to the marks from the schools. So Chemu defined... Um, decomposition, they talk about the fact that it's a breakdown of substances, either spontaneously or using heat into its constituent, constituents. And this can release carbon dioxide and other gases. They also mentioned that it's facilitated by, other, by bacteria and other microorganisms. So they have the definition, yeah, I'll take it. They talk about um, the products, at least they mentioned carbon dioxide. And also they talk about um, agents like bacteria and other microorganisms, which is in, in the process. And so for that, I'll give them four out of 10. <laughs> the solution from Aubrey Ebois, which, yeah, it talks generally about decomposition as a um, scientific concept. So they talk about decomposition, where a substance breaks down into its constituent components by the application of heat and other factors, such as catalysts. They give examples of decomposition as thermal decomposition, chemical decomposition. They even go on to write a chemical equation where calcium carbonate is being decomposed into its um, constituent um, elements. I'll give them five out of 10. <laughs> the solution from Kumasi Sektek, they also define um, decomposition they talk about humors, they talk about the release of energy, they talk about the action of microorganisms, and so they go a, a bit further in um, talking about the different processes. I'll give them seven out of 10. That brings us to the end of round three.
go on to round four. Obi Eboa Senior High School would want John to come on for Patrick. Round four. In this round, I'll make a series of statements to each school. And for each statement, I want you to indicate if it is true or false. If you answer correctly, you get two points. If your answer is incorrect, there's a penalty point. If you are bailed out, another school can ring for your question for the same points, two if they are correct, and minus one if their answer is incorrect. In this round, I'll start from Ubri Eboa. A preamble. A quantity of ideal gas undergoes an adiabatic process. No heat flows into the gas, and no heat flows out of the gas. It's a true statement. It's true, yes. Kumasi <laughs> Sektek. The temperature of the gas remains constant throughout the process. True. No, it's false. Chemu. The average velocity of a gas molecule remains unchanged throughout the process. Yes. False. No, it's true. Aubrey <laughs> Ebois. An increase in temperature of an equilibrium reaction will always increase the rate of a reaction, irrespective of whether it is endothermic or exothermic. It's a false statement. No, it's a true statement. Decreasing the pressure of a gaseous reaction mixture at equilibrium will shift the equilibrium towards the side with fewer moles of gas. False. Yes, it's false. A decrease in the volume of a reaction container Involving a gaseous reaction at equilibrium will shift the equilibrium in a direction that decreases the total number of moles of gas. Yes, Justice. True. Yes, it's true. Aubrey Ebois. Apoplastic movement of water occurs exclusively through the cytoplasm. It's false. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Kumasi Sektek. Apoplastic movement of water occurs exclusively through the plasmodesmata. Yes. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Chemu. Apoplastic movement of water occurs exclusively through the intercellular spaces. Yes, Justice. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> A preamble. The given function f of x is an even function. It's an even function. F of x equals sine x. False. It's false, yes. Kumase tek tek. F of x equals tan x. False. Yes, it's false. F of X equals 
cos x. Yes. True. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Kindly give them 30 seconds for this question. A preamble. A concave spherical mirror has radius of curvature of magnitude 30 centimeters. An object in front of the mirror is 10 centimeters from the mirror. I'll take that again. A concave spherical mirror has radius of curvature of magnitude 30, 30 centimeters. An object in front of the mirror is 10 centimeters from the mirror. Aubrey Bois. The height of the image of the object is smaller than the height of the object. False. It's false, yes. Master Sektek. The image of the object is on the same side of the mirror as the object. Yes. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Chemu, the distance between the image of the object and the object itself is 45 centimeters. Yes, Jafet. True. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Aubrey Ebois, alkanes with a higher number of carbon atoms generally have higher boiling points. True. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Kumasi Sektek, alkanes undergo addition reactions with halogens to form haloalkanes. Alkanes undergo addition reactions with halogens to form haloalkanes. Yes, AJ Poku. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Chemu. Branched alkanes with an A have the ability to pack closely in the solid state leading to higher melting points. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> A preamble. Cellulose does not form blue-black color with iodine solution because, Aubrey Ebois, it breaks down when iodine reacts with it. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Kumasi Sektek. It is a disaccharide. Ejepoku. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Chemu. It is a helical molecule. It is a helical molecule. Yes, justice. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Our last set of questions for this round, and this is a preamble. The number of ways of selecting, the number of ways of selecting, Aubrey Ebois, three objects from five distinct objects is 10. True. Yes, it's true. Kumase <laughs> Sektek, four objects, from six distinct objects is 30. Yes. False. Yes, it's false. <laughs> Chemu SHS. Eight objects from 10 distinct objects is 45. Yes, justice. True. Yes, it's true. That brings us to the end of round four.
At the end of round four, the scores are Obri Eboa Senior High School, 33 points. Chemu Senior High School, 36 points. Kumasi Secondary Technical School, 44 points. Round five. In round five. In round five, I'll provide a series of clues for your benefit. These clues are to enable you solve for the riddles I'm given. So we have four different riddles. At any time when I'm reading, if you have an answer, you ring your bell. I'll stop and allow you to give your answer. If you give a correct answer on the first clue, five points. On the second clue, four points. Any other answer, it's three points. If your answer is incorrect, there's no penalty. You just stay out of that particular riddle, and then you come back for the next, okay? In this round, we have the goal riddle bonanza. And what happens here is, if you're able to solve three or four riddles correctly, you earn some money from goal. If you solve three riddles correctly, you earn 1,200 Ghana cities. If you solve all four riddles, you earn 1,600 Ghana cities from Goyle in the Goyle Riddle Bonanza, which is proudly sponsored by Goyle, Good Energy. So a note of caution. In this round, we are not looking for answers from the audience. I'm looking for answers from you. So the audience, please, no provision of answers. No comments, actually. No comments at all, because I won't be able to determine whether what you are saying is an answer you are providing or not. So please, absolute quietness. And to the contestants, no looking into the crowd. They don't have anything from you. The answer should come from the two of you and to me, okay? So our first riddle. I am a celestial object. Celestial object. I am not a self-luminous object. Chemu. Moon. That's correct. Yeah. Four points yeah. on the second clue. Yeah. Our next riddle. I am the source for all the chemistry you see around you. While I may not be seen, my results are there for all to see. I may never be on your right side. However, I will always be the one you begin with. Without me, yes, Kumasi Sektek. Reactants. That is correct. Our next riddle. Our next riddle. I am an expression. I am an algebraic expression. I am obtained from polynomials of degree two. Quadratic expression. No. I'll continue for Chemu and Kumasi Sektek. So I'm obtained from polynomials of degree two. You will find me in the quadratic formula. Master Sektek. <laughs> Go ahead. Factor. No. So for Chemu SHS, I determine the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation. For example, if I am positive, the equation has distinct roots. Who am I? Chemu SHS. Discriminant. Yes, that's correct. Our last riddle. I am one of the major processes that take place during soil formation. I maintain the optimum pH in the soil. Chemu SHS. Wear drain. No. <laughs> Our 
I'll continue for the benefit of Kumasi Sectec and Ubriyabwa. So I maintain the optimum pH in the soil for the growth of microorganisms. I also increase soil fertility and organic content of the soil. Mind you, I differ from mineralization, which is responsible for the recycling of inorganic nutrients. In my process, organic matter is transformed into amorphous substances. I increase the quality of compost. Humification. That is correct. Senior High School, 33 points. <laughs> Chemu Senior High School, 43 points. Kumasi Secondary Technical School, 50 points. <laughs> With that score, Kumasi Secondary Technical School wins this contest and qualifies for the quarter-final stage of the National Championship. Congratulations to Kumasi Secondary Technical School. For that impressive win, well done, well done. Better luck next time to Obri Yebwa Senior High School and Chemu Senior High School. Make it a point to join us next time when we bring you the next contest, which promises to be as exciting. The National Science and Maths Quiz is proudly sponsored by the Ghana Education Service in partnership with Goal PLC and supported by Joy News, AT, Prudential Life Insurance Ghana, Pepsodent Toothpaste, Better Mold, Ghanaian Academic and Research Network, Coronation Insurance, Accra College of Medicine, Academic City University College, Cowbell, Bell Beverages, GTP, Newmont Ghana, Africa World Airlines, and YFM. I am Talmohine J, your quiz mistress, and this is a prime time production. See you soon.